Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Shadow Empires in the first preview series. The beta version, blah blah blah, you know the disclaimer. Definitely not the finished version, in fact not even the current version, really. It is the current version, but you know, it's missing a lot of the current features. Since we're working from an old start. And that will change very soon. I'm definitely going to start doing a new world soon. I'm thinking people have already started to mention different planets that we'll try out. I don't want to do a desert planet because I want to save that for the very first series. Um, there, I've heard rumors, I don't know um, how much stock to put in this, but I've, I've seen a comment at least, somebody said in my Discord that they received an email saying June 4th would be the release. So it looks like early June. Um, in fact, I can tell you, I, I, can, I, I can just say that I may or may not know more, but I'm not allowed to say myself, so I can only report what other people are saying. But yeah, I mean, it looks, looks good. Um, that's an early June release sounds good. Uh, now, as far as what we're doing here, yeah, so we, we want to get to a quick new series. I think maybe something like um, a planetoid or, heck, I don't know, could be a lava planet. I mean, that's kind of insane. I think Alekius is doing that, but I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll see. So let's get to this. Uh, I have some clever little plan for how to deal with this whole situation. Right now, we don't have the means to go... So this is 35, it should only be 25 normally, but zone of control, right? Um, we can kick this unit out, reduce our zone of control. I think we can make it. No, this is high mountains, oh, okay. We won't be able to get there. So which means the Marauders will be able to occupy the viewpoint one extra turn. I will easily be able to get here at least. And what I wanna do is attack this guy only from this side so that we push him back to this hex I do not want him landing in the high mountains. We've already seen that song and dance. I don't want to deal with it again. So, yeah, um, that's why we're going to attack from this side. How many do I have here? I have two. So, I, and I want, unfortunately, I want one of these guys to run down here. I guess I'll take the first. Run down here. Um, I obviously don't want to move... Um, how do I say this? I don't want to move here. That's right, because I want his escape to be there. So I'm going to move here. And that should protect this whole thing from zone of control as well. If he had moved back, if I had attacked him and he moved back here, he would have taken these by zone of control because I didn't have anything to occupy those. Now he won't. But now I also have to do something tricky. I need to move the second here so we can attack from both sides, from the same side twice. Um, or I can move down here. That would be, I think, the same effect. This unit can move here. We could do a three-sided attack. This would be a little bit weird. It's possible, though, if we move this unit down. It might be the best solution, unfortunately. <laughs> this guy's actually not that poorly equipped. 700 RPGs, so yeah, he's quite a capable foe. So let's do it this way. Let's do the attack like so. And I think that this should be... It's only 9 to 1 odds, but we'll go for it. Good, looks good. Lots of kills going in. Remember, our light armor is basically specialized in dealing with infantry. So we are expecting to mow these guys down and it's been working out a lot better than I expect every time. Now, what does this mean? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> it means exactly what I didn't want to have happen has happened. Um, I'll leave this hex open. How do I deal with this? Hopefully they move into the low mountains. I, I just can't even attack them on the high mountains. Yeah, I'll leave this hex open. Boy, that, that failed miserably. We have another mine that, that uh, rebel whatever up here. I'm going to spend 50 points just moving there just to get it. And then move this guy back so he gets back into supply. Um, you have full movement points as well. In fact, you have 103. I'm not quite sure how that's happening, but move here, move there. This is only 13, and then you can get back here. Okay, good. That's good enough for me. Um, you should be back in supply now. Hey, another metal mine. You know, that's probably not necessary to do. And we have um, unlimited metal storage, which is great. Yeah, with minus 663, we might actually consider... I'm not even going to say it uh, might. We're just going to do this. <laughs> So that will be available, I think, as an asset next turn. But wait, no. Can you build now? I'm a little bit confused. I'm trying to keep track of these things. 
can you build now on places no logistical network okay we cannot but sometimes you can build next to places why did i build a road here or was does this road already exist what is going on am i losing my mind oh this is scavenging points okay that's why i built the road there well, shoot, I guess we might as well build a recycling facility there, because it could be giving us oil, could be giving us, more importantly, rare metal. Yeah. Um, what happened is we built this, we don't even know, I don't. this is not even ours, but this farm is just going wild. It's just spreading its agricultural stuff everywhere. And it does, when it does this, it actually <laughs> overrides the hex quality, but it does not remove the scavenging points. Which is really cool. I really, like, really, really like that feature. And we can see it finally starting to happen over here as well. Very good. Assets-wise, we have completed... No, we have one turn left on the industry over there. We have Omicron. Well, also, i got to get to the Rebels. I should have done the Rebels first. But there's none in Omicron, so we're okay. I did take a look. So as far as Omicron goes, University finished, which is good. Should be more quality of life. Hospitals, two turns away, same for the barracks. We can see about just building another university right away. I don't know, our metal's coming down like <laughs> crazy quick. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy quickly. Uh, 200 a turn for four rounds. You'd have to say, if anything, it would have been more advisable for us to get um, a bureaucratic office, but that's also 200 for three rounds. I mean, Vidcom station is probably the best as far as like establishing peace, but how are we doing? We're up to below par. We're below par, guys. We've done it. <laughs> Always good to see population growth on both sides. 200, 600, looking good there. Um, 2,000, 1,000, that, that looks good. We lost six extra here, um, and I think let's just go ahead and face the facts. We have some problems. So, um, let's go ahead and just become a democracy. This is gonna hurt somebody. I think somebody somewhere wanted meritocracy, the syndic union, union. They want government and meritocracy. I mean, I really, really, really like those qualities. I would love for that to happen. Unfortunately, it's just not likely to happen. And I don't think even government is gonna get up to 61. Ooh, we, we're actually there. Right now, commerce is limiting government, but we're very, very, very close. We might even have an opportunity. I guess I could do this. Um, no, I just don't want, I don't want anything bad to happen again. We're gonna go ahead and just destroy any chance of meritocracy by giving in to all their demands uh, of democracy. We'll And rebels, we will give them full support, give them full support. Um, okay, so we will do a model design thing. We'll come back to that decision. Let's see where our new raiders are. Okay, well, there and there. Oh my good lord. <laughs> There's so many, so many raiders. <laughs> raiders of the last arc. I mean, hey, the great news is Omicron is appear appears to be stable. Oh, yeah, we really, 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 really want that. We might as well start. Okay, the Re Rebels are going to take this over probably, so we'll just build the road there. And that even if they take it over, we'll just have that road there for, for future use, even to move into the Rebel territory. Uh, as soon as we... Yeah, we just got to take down this one Rebel, and then we're actually okay. I don't think there's any need. Okay, what do we have over here, assets-wise? We got a geyser turbine, plus 100 energy. Very low priority. Um, lots of industrial points and crazy increase, which means we're, we're actually in good shape. We're, we have the, the go-ahead. Okay, that's limited. Let's try to decrease this a little bit more. Um, reason being is I'm not sure why we're getting this administrative strain, and I don't know what the reason for it is. But wonder I wonder if it's like limited logistics arriving here. It doesn't say that we're limited at all for 
Yeah, it doesn't give us any justification why this would be causing the administrator strain. Is it this? I don't know. Hmm. Ah, oh, the rebels have cut us off here, of course. Um, now, preview. It's a little bit strange to me. Why is this not showing... Do I have to switch between on current... This is only showing the ra uh, the road. But it's not showing the rail, which is being shown here as working fine. Well, anyway, I, I guess let's not back down, bog down on it. Um, how do we want to approach this? So what is the... Decrease due to, okay, let's look at this. We have 31, which decreased by five due to 4,200 troops, 107 security points. I wish I knew exactly where those points come from. I'm gonna guess it's troops divided by 1,000 and security points divided by 100, since that gives me a nice even, nice even four point, or five points, four for troops, one for security points. Seems to make sense. Let's see if that somehow is justified by, it appears that that's a, just, a good justification. We have an extra 1,000 troops here. We get another point off. 77 security points rounds to the same thing. This one rounds to 170, yeah, it rounds to 100. The closest 177 is 100, yeah. Uh, we can also take a look at Omicron, see if that also, uh, there's no unrest there. So, cannot take a look at Omicron, but I, I think that makes sense. Uh, also, it's a little bit weird, this hex border, so we'll probably get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we'll probably get Flag Peak to just take this one territory. Good. Back to movement. So that, that's just, I mean, just clearing up. A, it's just an aesthetic thing. Okay, so we can probably cut off and just eliminate this raider this turn. I think that you can go like this. And we can attack. Oh, we can bombard first. Oh, yeah. This guy's days are done. If we're lucky, we might even be able to kill two. We certainly want to start getting ahead. <laughs> I don't even want to attack. Okay, you won't be able to attack. And what you're going to do is actually move over here and take... Oh, no. You're going to move down. So we can take both of these in the next... Like, just immediately, basically. Um, that's where the raider rebel spawned from that I didn't see to begin with, but, okay, switch. Two troops bombarding, we have plenty of ammunition. Yeah, let's just do this. Good. Getting kills, getting lots of effect. Ended on round five, which is pretty crazy. Now, to me, this doesn't, I'm not sure I might report this, and it doesn't really make sense that they can retreat with any amount of readiness from an artillery bombardment before my action points are done. It then cancels the rest of my uh, artillery points. So what do I mean by this? How does an artillery barrage, if you like, if they retreat, how do they retreat from an artillery barrage um, without, like, with some effectiveness? It doesn't really make sense. I, I don't know. Maybe it's possible, but it doesn't doesn't really make sense to me. I guess I could move. Like if this guy moves down here, seventy six. Okay, I'll do the attack with. How many do we have here? One, two. It'll be easier. Okay, we only have two tanks. I probably will attack with both. I'll definitely attack with the militia here. So let's just attack with the militia, then let's involve uh, the 5th. We're already at 10 to 1. Ah, the machine gun guys. Let me see, how many RPGs do they have? One. Okay, I think our tanks are just going to roll over them. I love these guys too, our APCs. They have good defense too. 260. 107 soft attack. Okay, good recon as well. Yeah, this is, this is, these I like these mixed groups. I really do. Okay, getting back, we'll get the militia involved. Um, not 
the second. I'm not sure if the second, oh, it goes up to 15 to one when we get them involved. So let's do that, do the fourth, and then just do this to make it just not, just pretty much impossible to lose. <laughs> so we looked at it from this screen instead of looking at it the other way, but hey, we saw them all die. Looks good. Okay, so you move down here to clear off the rest of this. My only fear is that they will still cut off the road, but this road doesn't matter so much. So in fact, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is park somebody back over here. <laughs> okay. Um, now Castello's gonna be in pro uh, having some problems for a lot longer. I wonder if that means I should actually not expand the Castello border. And we're gonna have to get to that rebel eventually. Oh my gosh. This is just a just a total mess. If I remember correctly, our artillery are here. I'm gonna move them first and then do bombardment. Because remember, they don't have their reinforcements yet. Wow, this is gonna be brutal. It's only 12 action points? Why is that? Oh, it's more haulers than loaders. I thought it was the other way around. Okay, we could move back here and then we'll actually be back on supply. That's another 12, okay. I'm gonna be okay with that. So we'll do this bombardment. Um, that's a good question. Who's the other artillery? Okay, so we'll get these guys if they move 25 here. And now we can do bombardment. And we're getting some hits, that's good to see. Lots of hits, good, good, good. It seemed to be a lot more effective than the last few t attempts. I don't think, well... I don't think we need to, I mean, we do want to, in order to get ahead, we are going to have to attack some, like, more than one unit a turn at some point. But is this that turn? Who else can go? 10 to 1. Unfortunately, it's two really good Galactic Republic troops, which I'd rather not lose. So I think we're going to sit tight. We're going to hang out one more turn. Oh, but we could involve more people if we move them north. And I... I don't know who else is available. So considering that this unit does not did not take any bombardment this turn. Yeah, but these two are like one unit because they're <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> I could put the hundred the thousand grunts, the um, HQ here. I think I'm gonna do this. Or maybe even get the HQ to move here and then get you to come up and attack here. And now, 14 to one, I'm gonna go ahead and risk it. Okay, did get some retreats, lots of retreats, oh boy. Okay, we lost, thankfully, only militia. And we got them, okay, good. So, yeah, lost some machine gun militia, had a lot of retreats, so it was, it was dicey, but we did succeed. And I'm gonna leave that open, I'm gonna let the Minos people step out if they dare. I don't think they will. They would be wise not to. <laughs> and how about this railroad thing? I, I mentioned this already. We got to get a railroad over to Minos, right? I think that it's got to happen right now because I want this unit, which is the both these units, the artillery units, to finally get resupplied. So we're going to build the railroad there. Um, and that's fine to me. This is like one stop off for the rail, but this Minos is another. And if Minos and Castello want to talk directly, it's a little inefficient that the rail has to go one extra hex, but it's so close I don't think it's going to matter anyway, and probably a lot of the logistics can just flow through. What will Eventually this will all be sealed road. Um, I don't need to do it, but I could, yeah, I guess I could. There's no harm in doing it. Okay, good. So, if I clear the units, yeah, we're looking really good. I probably even want the road to go here, because, wow, Warsaw so, is just so... Big, it's a big town, 48,000 free folk. Okay, so back to um, our rebel crushing. So, the, I mean, look at this is, somebody mentioned that this is kind of like Vicky 2, or I mean, to me, I remember Hearts of Iron, Hearts of Iron 2, I think it was, had this rebel pop-up crap, Hearts of Iron 3. Um, yeah, you had to build, oh, Hearts of Iron 3 was actually probably worse. God, China, oh my gosh, playing as Japan, needing to like, 
map out every other i mean france was bad even when you played as germany but you had to like map out every other hex i mean every other it wasn't it wasn't quite a hex grid but you know the regions you had to get one garrison had to cover its place and then it supported every surrounding hex with a smaller amount of suppression it was horrible um this seems a lot better in that you just get through it there's a period of turmoil you get through it and then you're done so um, Omicron is stabilized. We're doing good there. Gosh, this might actually be uh, an okay time to attack. I don't, what kind of recon do we have on you? 159, my goodness. Let's do the, I wanna say let's do the bombardment. Okay, 20, <clears throat> with 20 irregular artillery, I think I will do the bombardment because this is actually a pretty sizable yeah, this is definitely a good number of troops. And everyone's dealing with uh, third tier stuff. Good, good, good. Okay. So our machine gun threes and stuff, I, these guys are really good. 84 on the attack. Okay, it's 335 on the defense, which is huge. 58 on the attack. Okay, that's not bad. But what are we dealing with in the defense? 20. I'm surprised RPGs are also 20 and 40. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to do this. So let's do the bombardment first. We'll see. Do we get any hits here? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> I was relying on this doing something, like anything. Okay, it did do something. I can't say it didn't do anything. Trenchment of 90. Let's take a look. 23 to 1. One of the problems, by the way, is that this won't accomplish... Okay, I think we'll do it, because uh, we'll replace troops that die, but this won't kill the unit entirely. So, but 23 to 1 is good, so let's just take it. Oh, lost one. What was this? Okay, just one down, and it looks like we actually did a fair amount of damage to them. So 800 to 1, that's a fair trade. That's about what we would expect on the defense. So we should be happy, more than happy with that on the offense. Makes sense to move this unit in. I'd prefer to move this unit up. I guess we'll move him there though. Hey, actually we <laughs> were able to claim back our alpha base because of that. Okay. Um, we'll move this unit here and this unit here just to get them ready in preparation for attacking alpha base zone alpha base oh they took the name here okay but this is the pacific rebels yeah okay well that's a nice effective turn so far crushing what do we crush Two rebels here. Um, did we defeat any rebels in? No. So is there still two rebels here? There's still two rebels here, and there'll be probably three rebels and uh, an additional rebel in each of those next turn. I wonder if it's worth running a, a redundant line of rail. Okay, I think what we'll do instead is run a redundant line of sealed roads. Um, the reason for this is just, I mean, as far as we can, that's as far as we can go because the rebels were occupying this territory previously, but basically just in case they pop up along one of these two lines, we don't want to be completely cut off. Yeah. But I, yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident. Hopefully we'll, our replacements from SHQ will get over here. Hopefully. And what else do we want to do? So Omicron with its drop in unrest, completely dropped. It's time to ship out our troops, man. It's time to get these guys going. Where do we want them to go? Do we want... Because we could have them deal with the rebels, or I could have them move south and start exploring. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I keep saying, hey, this is about the time when we're going to bring this series to a close. I'm going to move them north. We'll have the um, tanks deal with this area, and we'll have these guys go into the mountains. That makes sense. Okay. 
We have nobody left in Omicron. That might be a small oversight, but this is going up. And we just finished, yeah, university, which will give us more quality of life points. So we should be okay. Omicron should be okay. I'm hoping. It's not going to get any, like, huge improvements. Uh, the only thing I would undo is moving my HQ, which doesn't need to move forward. Um, it could have stayed here one more turn. Well, I guess what I, I could do is move this unit back. That's fine. 20. It's going to take 60 to get there, and you have 100. So we can move you north, and then we can just move you right back in. There. So somebody is there to defend it. That's good. And we, uh, yeah, we would have had this unit as well. Although he probably wants to stay with his armored buddies. Yeah, I'll just, um, they'll just move him onto the road so that he's able to move by road next turn if we need him to. And th their next stop after this will be the rebels up in this area. Okay, two more rebels to cry. I mean, there might be three in these areas. I don't know. I don't remember. But at least two, obviously. And your job might actually be now to go all the way over here and take that Pacifico Rebel location. The tanks are not going to be going into the high mountains easily, but... Uh, and that's, of course, where the viewpoint is. Alright, so this is 25 minutes on a single turn, but I guess that's just what happens when you... have to deal with all these Rebels. Model design stuff. Well, I mean, I guess we have the possibility of making Grunts 3 a little bit better. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. Gas-powered carbines are not any better. Interesting. So automatic rifles are more firepower, just takes a lot more ammo. That's still an acceptable choice for us. So the gas-powered carbines, note to self, are not useful. And I guess that's the same thing here. Yeah, it's a huge decrease. We do not want to do that. Okay, so what else do we want to try then? Um... What if we start working on a new Crusader 2 again? Well, the Crusader 2 has not been employed itself yet, I think. So that wouldn't be useful. Neither has the new artillery been employed. Yeah. It is a bit of a bummer about the lack of, abil of ability to upgrade. So it kind of nullifies our need to... So what we could do... Uh, this is This is perfectly fine. We haven't fielded any uh, medium tanks yet, right? This dragon, I don't think it's done anything. So let's just look what we did. We did 60 millimeters. Can I look from this screen? Okay, well we did, okay, let's just look. We did 60 millimeters. We did 50 millimeter steel. Oh, we can do polymer now. So there is an improvement we can do here. And we did heavy diesel engine. Okay, so I think Vika is going to implement like a forward back button, I hope. <laughs> um, 60. So 150 weight. Let's take a look at what the polymer armor does. I'm sure we know what it does. It decreases weight, but so 50 polymer is 175. So it divides it by half. My goodness, that is, that is a huge improvement. Huge, 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 huge. Of course, it makes sense. I mean, how the hell are you going to get these engines to do anything without <laughs> polymer armor, I guess. So what I could do is upgrade our existing tank, but what I want to do is... Okay, by the way, let's actually take a moment. What if we upgrade the polymer, the light tank to polymer? Yeah, so we go to 50 millimeter polymer. Actually, we can go to 100 millimeter polymer and save weight. What are we at now? We are at 337, so this will still be a little bit too over. What's the, uh, the current over is 100, 250, 100 and 250. So it's 350 versus 300. Oh, and it'll be 400 total. Um, let's go through that one more time. I'm just trying to make sure. 100 for this and 250 for this. Versus 100 for that and 187. So we'll be saving... Yeah, that's a lot. We're saving 63 weight. So it will be... It should be better. We'll take a look. We'll build the um, Crusader 3. And we'll do it with 50 millimeter polymer armor. 
that would certainly put us below or a hundred million so I don't think that I don't know if armor is what what, what do we actually want to do here 300 goes up to 400 firepower for a 30% increase as well both, both of them increase by 30% firepower and ammo and weight no nope, weight goes up by 50% Or, instead of that, we could invest the extra weight or savings into armor. So I think if we do it this way, if we go with uh, more... Because armor, we haven't lost any of these yet, right? So armor, I think, is probably okay. But we've also had no problem killing everything, so... <laughs> Weapons are probably also okay. I don't know, this is a tough decision. Let's do the 60mm howitzer and the um, 50 millimeter polymer plate. Copy that. Good. So we'll see how the Crusader 3 compares to the Crusader 2. All right, that, that is a lot of time. So let's end the turn, hopefully, <laughs> quickly. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? Do I want to start building a road out to any of these metal mines? I guess so. Yeah, I do. Little mountains. Do I want to go through the little mountains? Probably not. Okay, so next turn we'll start building a metal mine, our rare metal mine. Seems like a good idea. Only 4,500, but that's probably actually enough. So, okay, end the turn. Anything else I need to do? I can take a look through the stratagems. Um, don't think there's anything here. We can send a lot of spies. Banker ally, radiation leak, rebellion. <laughs> No, don't be funny. Still haven't used these, and I, I probably should be. I'm just not a card guy, and this is just too much of a card thing for me. Okay, yeah, we do want to do some of these. We have just not that many, but a few political points available. I think we should be working on Flag Peak. We can just focus all our efforts on suppressing the rebellions in Costello once we've narrowed it down to just that. So let's do private investment targeting flag peak. Uh, we'll go. 900, that's not that much. We could do it again, but now let's save our political points. Maybe attract free folk. I think we'll wait on that because they're just going to flee. Because <laughs> we have no, I mean, it probably just essentially will just recruit for the rebel army, bringing them in, and then they'll just join the rebellion. So, no. Okay, that's what we want to do. Okay, looking good. No kills, no losses. I was able to see some of the stuff that happens. It looks good. Okay, fanaticism is ending. Crusader 3 was like immediately developed. We probably have to lower the model design. I think I will re-establish the... Okay, light mechanized armor assault. Yeah, probably not going to use this, but... Um, fluid defense. Limited science. Okay. Uh, this down here is what I saw. This raider moved off over... Let's see. One, two, three. Probably moved here. Is he here? I forget where he was, but he probably moved over here. So we have the viewpoint back. Thank goodness. Thank our lucky stars. This rebel decided to move um, here. So what I'd like to do <laughs> is another attack. And this time I'm going to move my HQ here. This guy here, and we're going to attack from just these two locations. So that there's hopefully no chance he moves back into the mountains this time. I'm just going to do this attack right away. I mean, we're actually killing almost everyone. So we can probably... Oh, yeah. Finally it worked. Okay. So we'll move this guy in just to identify him. If he does not completely eliminate him, uh, if my unit does not completely eliminate the rebels... Hmm. That will be a pickle. It's only 200 units, but I, I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna eliminate them. Ah, he did retreat, and we can't do the. <laughs> okay, so what do I really need now is somebody to move into the high mountains before this guy does. 
All right, fair enough. We didn't completely eliminate them, but, you know, just a matter of time, I tell myself. Damn, we need some infantry to get over there. Can you get over there? Yeah, no, you, it's just completely impossible for you to, to get there. You'll tell me minus 145 here. You'll tell me it's impossible to ever move there for the high mountains, which is typically the case of, uh, of like, any kind of mechanized unit, even motorized for the mountains. Okay, so let's look at our zone decisions. Rebels in the two places. They still want to upgrade. Now we can definitely upgrade um, um... Wait, do you have to upgrade? Yeah, you do not upgrade. Okay, so we have 200,000 for our next one. I don't think we're going to upgrade either of these yet, because again, the quality of life penalties and all that so, is there anybody we want to move around? Anything we want to do? I think our rebels are right there, by the way. <laughs> um, is there anything we want to do before we spawn these rebels? I do want to just do a quick check of the assets, which is the first thing I do, usually at the beginning of the turn. So this is coming along full speed ahead. One turn left on those, even with some small shortage for whatever reason. Should We're looking very good to finish those next turn. Um... But that's Omicron, where we don't have problems. Okay, we're doing it, moving at 0 0.75. That's not terrible. Barracks is going to be done in three turns, three turns. University finished, which is good. So at least, you know, the, hopefully there's some kind of improvement going on. And things are moving extremely slowly. Actually, our bureaucratic office, office finished in Costello, but I don't really feel like that means much considering the city's just racked with rebellions. Okay, so let's look at it and flag peak first. Uh, we'll go. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Yeah, that was actually pretty convenient. I think we can stomp that out in one turn. In fact, we even have <laughs> we even have uh, people ready to go. I mean, artillery, I should say, ready to go. I'm going to move this artillery in here because it's possible for the rebellion to spawn right here. And although that would be easy to crush, it would also be mean that we couldn't eliminate this unit this turn although is that so bad maybe we can actually get both i'd rather it spawn here than here uh, did you guys get the re reinforcements you did not huh, i wonder what the hell is going on Um, maximum production is 10 due to size and type restrictions. Maximum production is 0 due to limited amount of 0 logistical points available. It says 0 logistical points available. Is that true? It is. Okay. So that means we're going to have to set up a new headquarters over here in either Flag Peak or in Costello. And that's okay. There's going to be three cities over here, so Flag Peak seems like a good candidate for that anyway. I guess we'll just do that now. Um, oops. I Let me pause real fast. I forget exactly where I have to do that. Yeah, it was actually the very next place I checked, which was in Ray's form and then new, new SHQ. It took 20 political points. The next one takes 30. I think the next one after that takes 40, etc., etc. So we'll probably need to populate this, but hopefully this will mean that they will exchange goods and we can reinforce this unit. Yeah, I don't know why they're not using the railways. Um, if I put a rail in... Let me put a rail in Flag Peak. Oh, well, we don't want to do that because there's so many things there. It'll just delay things even more. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't really know what's going on there. If... Yeah... Just, just not exactly sure. Okay, so we'll get these guys to start moving north. They will be moving north without recon. I mean, without uh, HQ, but that's fine. And I am feeling a lot more comfortable with Omicron. We're up to below par, but right at fi basically right at 50. We should see loyalty start coming back as well. Yeah, it's slowly increasing, which is good. I think anytime it's below 
population happiness and moves to meet it. Obviously in a slow way, but still does it. All right, so now these guys can also get a, uh, we can also get going. I think I'm gonna move everyone north one because this will start trickling supply. I mean, recon, more importantly. Let's get the 15th to pull off. I was hoping that that would take this hex, but it did not. 14th. Okay, let's get the 14th to peel off. Interesting. We're still not scouting anything yet. And these guys don't have the best recon. That's why I'm trying to move everyone in first, just in case we see something. 13th, there we go. Finally got him. Okay, so 12th can move north. Um, 11th can also move north. We can't move in there now because they are now exerting their zone of control. And you... Yeah, you can just stay behind them. We'll start surrounding and occupying, uh, and hopefully retaking this area pretty quickly. The 11th can move uh, up. Actually, just moving here should retake all of that. And you guys, there's probably somebody in Bexicon, which is exerting zone of control on this hex. And it would also give them some amount of hide points. It's also low mountains, which is not, okay, yeah. Not ideal for my uh, tanks to be fighting in. Otherwise, the only thing I don't want to do is lose the library. So I'm going to move this militia all the way around and probably dump him in the old library or at least put him right here so that if we attack we don't oh god if we don't completely eliminate this guy he's going to go into retreat into the high mountains uh well i mean we can do that because we have infantry but that's not something i want so i might do something crazy like move infantry into the high mountains and then attack out of it which is going to be so painful it's going to take a lot of turns and probably low supply and well, we'll see. Uh, one thing I can do in the meantime, which I do want to do anyway, is start getting sealed roads going out of Omicron, heading north. Because the only supply we have right now... How are we doing, by the way? Yeah, lots of industrial points. The only supply we have going this way is uh, through the roads. So, better if that's happening. And honestly, if our assets are not being delayed here, and it looks like we're completely okay, I would like to upgrade my truck station. Just to make sure that we have, because we have a lot of roads running everywhere. I want to make sure that we're actually getting enough uh, supply out. So let's go to upgrade, logistics, extra fuel, which it looks like we're capable of handling. And that's the big one here, 4,000 truck points. Which is, that looks great. Okay, very good. There must have been some adjustments. It used to be only 2,000 for the level 2. And I'd like to see what's the level 1. 750, interesting. 1,000, okay, it's 1,000, but we're, we're suffering problems. Okay, yeah, this is this has changed. Okay, so I see. Vic is working on the, reworking the balance between rail and truck. But truck level two is just crazy good, jeez. It used to be only 2,000, this is double that now. All right, let's um, do the rebels, as I mentioned. Ah, okay. The perfect spot for them to spawn. The perfect spot. Um, so, zone HQ. Sorry, this zone HQ is going to be set to the second. And Costello is also going to be set to the second. And ultimately, Minos will also be set to the second. This whole area is going to be controlled by this one. Um, and now hopefully that means that we'll start getting the supplies to here, which will eventually get to our people here. Anyways, for now, we'll do bombardment with all the people here. And hopefully we'll be able to eliminate this um, unit immediately. Getting lots of hits, which is good. Of course, the second... SHQ hasn't gotten any uh, supplies, so he won't be able to do anything this turn. Um, let's go ahead and build some... Zero metal... Oh, yeah, 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 right. We need to wait a turn for that stuff to come in. Which means everybody's going to be short uh, ammunition for a turn. We should be okay with it, though. And you... Are you, by the way, completely new? Yeah, you are. So we do need to treat you as a serious threat. Fire. 
and boy, these, uh, this artillery is just... First of all, not only is it probably really, really experienced at this point, but it's got a lot of these add-ons and stuff. Killed 300 and pretty much caused the entire rest of the formation to retreat. Okay, so this should be an easy job. Just go in, smash, kill, get it done. And then uh, second, we'll probably move to help them. I might not even invest a full group into this one. What did they... Yeah, we're at 71 with just the two. Perfect. I'm glad I didn't commit anybody else. Let's get this done. Oh my god, they killed a crusade. Our first loss, of course. It had to happen when we don't have an H SHQ able to replenish them, but that's okay. So... I could literally move this guy into the other zone, and I can actually do that. And then he should be replenished by the... Or is it where the SA... Uh, this is interesting. I wonder if it's replenished based on where your headquarters is or based on the zone you're in, the individual unit. This question. I think I'll leave him here for now. Um, we're going to want to do... Oh, wow. Who, where do we want to do the attack? That's a good question. Well, we did the bombardment here, so that's probably where we want to do the follow-up attack. Oh, the rebels are actually harassing Minos even better. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be able to cut this guy off. Uh, one way or another, he's going to have to commit. So let's do this attack. Yeah, that looks good. Going in. Mission successful. Oh, we killed almost all of them. Yeah, they're down to almost nothing left. And good, they did, they did move the correct way. <laughs> if you ask me, at least the correct way. Um, I don't know if I should move into there to follow up. I guess I will, yeah, because we'll just eliminate them next turn, right? And uh, you can move here, you can move here. If I attack them, they will retreat here. But giving them a, a place to retreat to, I think that's... I think that means that they won't dig in and die to the last man. It's actually kind of a big question whether or not, with 800 RPGs, we probably don't even want to do this attack. 60. Oh man, it's 48 minutes into this video. I guess we're going to have to get this out. Yeah, it's only 50 for their attack. I mean, it's, it's enough that it could easily kill somebody, but let's just take a look at what the odds are. Yeah, they're not good, so we will cancel this attack. We'll sit until reinforcements come, and reinforcements will be coming very soon. Hmm... Yeah, let's take a look at this. Happiness decreased with minus three due to corruption in the government. 24 private credits were taken. So actually the minus three, wait, it's only minus one. Is there more reasons that we don't see? Because it's one plus one, plus five. Oh, plus one, and then minus five, minus three. Okay, yeah, never mind. Whoop. Anyway, I don't think it matters too much. So, ah, I see that we're almost at 59 minutes, so we're just going to quickly try to get this attack in. Okay, we do have somebody who can attack from here. I think this should be enough. 5 to 1, that's not good. Can anybody else attack from here? Oh, you guys can attack. Uh, let's get the militia involved, and then let's get this militia attacking from here. 8 to 1. Let's just do it. Should hopefully win. Because of the tanks. Oh, might not get there. All clear, sir. Got it. Oh, just barely got it. Okay, good. That's a really good win. Right at the buzzer. Okay, so I think I'll conclude the video here. That's pretty much everything we're going to do for this turn, so I'll just review what this one turn is. In fact, I may even just end the turn, and we'll start off on the next turn. Um, we'll see. But, uh... Yeah, so maybe this is the last second to last episode because we're getting to the point where things are stabilizing and that's probably the point where we start a new one and get one quick playthrough in before the release. So uh, yeah, but this has already been a fun... I mean, I am certainly going to play the hell out of this game when it's released. So don't, don't, this is not going anywhere. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. And until the next series... Or not series. Until the next episode. Take care.